Good evening. Tonight we are continuing our baritone mini-series and what I have here to share with you is this. This is the UK style baritone. Uh, more specifically this is a Besson 700 series and it is what we use in the British style brass band. It is an instrument that is designed not necessarily to work by itself, but to operate as part of a team. See, the uh, baritone joins up with the tenor horn, uh, which is pitched in E flat, whereas this is in the B flat immediately below it. Uh, and those two sections, very often in the brass band at least, work together to provide much of the filling sort of tenor and baritone voices in the brass band. In fact, they actually provide the alto and tenor voices, but we don't call them alto and tenor horns, we call them tenor horns and baritones, because we like just to, you know, keep you on your toes, as it were. The baritone that we see here is a development of uh, the sax horn family. Sax horns are something that uh, we see a lot in the brass band, and this is one of the versions of them that we have uh, in the brass band. And it's pretty much used almost exclusively in the brass band, a baritone of this style. Uh, I'm soon, soon going to put out a video that compares the three different geographically dispersed variants of the baritone uh, and you'll find out a little bit more about the differences between the two. Um, as an instrument there isn't really too much to say about it. It comes in three valve varieties like you have here. Uh, it also comes up in four valve varieties where the fourth valve is sticking out the side here and you can get them both in compensating and non-compensating manners uh, or variants rather. Uh, the instrument is held in the right hand and you articulate the three valves uh, pretty much as you would on a euphonium. The left hand usually grasps the instrument here and may or may not articulate the fourth valve depending on whether you've got one or not. Uh, so the baritone is not very often a solo instrument. It's one of the unsung heroes of the brass band because it sits there, uh, does its work studiously, but gets very little limelight. The exception is when you get into very uh, complicated, high grade music where you might have baritone solos, but more often than not, it teams up with what we call the tenor horn, or what you in the Ameri or what Americans would call an alto horn, what we call a tenor horn. It teams up with that instrument um, as the filling part. In brass bands you'll normally have either one or two baritone parts that will normally get played by a single person per part. As an instrument it is pretty unremarkable. Um, I think it's got a lovely tone, it's got a nice clear tone that's sort of a little bit like a valve trombone but uh, it has a lot more clarity. Valve trombones tend to be a little bit stuffy whereas this instrument I believe has quite a lot of clarity. It's also a very agile instrument. It's quite easy when you compare it to some of the other instruments to work through the various ranges um, and it, it, it's, it's just a nice instrument to play. In my uh, opinion, I don't think the baritone gets as much limelight as it perhaps deserves, but then again, for music to work well, you need those people who sit behind the scenes and do, you know, the hard work. We can't all be showy off, uh, flashy instrument. So in a nutshell, that's that's really what this bar uh, what this instrument is all about. It's a type of sax horn. It's pitched in the key of B flat. Has either three or four valves. I believe it's got a lovely, crisp, clear tone. Uh, a nice tonal spread that is a, depends. The, you know, you can change the tone depending on the amount of air that you go through it. Um, and that's really all I've got to say about it. So I shall finish this video by playing some music for you.